You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. TSPN's Game of the Week, now in its 25th year. This week it's Motherlode League Volleyball. The Somerville Bears take on the Argonaut Mustangs at Argonaut. With TSPN sportscasters Tim Thornhill and Mark Herschel. Tonight we're at Argonaut High School where the Lady Mustangs Volleyball Girls are going to take on the Somerville Bears. This local television coverage is proudly brought to you by the overall sponsor of Jackson Tire Service, your Goodyear Tire Dealer on Highway 49 in front of Sears in Jackson and in Pine Grove near the post office. The journey begins on the wings of Goodyear. And by our game sponsors of All Sierra Roof Company, your local full service Owens Corning Platinum Preferred Roofing Contractor. For the right roof, start with the right contractor. By Camps Propane for exceptional energy, they are your friendly, dependable local propane company. Visit their showroom on Highway 88 at Red Corral and Pioneer. By American Legion Amateur Post 108, proud to be involved and supportive in our community, veterans still serving America. And by Hospice of Amador in Calaveras, providing hospice care for terminally ill patients in our community. You can support them by shopping and donating at the hospice thrift store. Thanks to them, you're watching this edition of our sports show on TSPN, Amador County's own television network. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN. To tonight's game of the week with the Argonaut Mustangs and the Somerville Bears. We're looking to get started this first game out of best out of five with this volleyball team. It's rally scoring up to 25 points. Got to win by two. Tonight's first quarter, uh, first first game is sponsored by All Sierra Roof Company, your local platinum preferred contractor. Tim Thornhill does a good job for you. Give him a call. You have any complaints, Mark? Didn't he do your roof? Yeah, that guy did my roof. He, yeah. does, a, he does a good job. He returns calls. He's fair on price and uh, hasn't blown off yet. <laughs> okay, we're going to get over on the starting lineups here. You want to talk about the Somerville Bears, Mark? Yeah, we got some of the barrels. We got some great experience there. We got four, Bella Bactel. We got six, Brianna Robinson. We got 16, Katie Yeager. We got number 12, Nicole Christie. We got number seven, Ashley Gamber. And we got number 24, Taylor Edmer as their experience. Starting lineup. Starting for the uh, Argonaut Mustangs, Jackie Junkins, Serena Brown, Morgan Zafferano, Leah Peterson, Michaela Herschel, and Jamie Thornhill. All seniors on the court right now for the Mustangs. Strong server and Serena Brown. Uh, refs are getting in position. We're getting ready to get this match underway. It's highly anticipated. So I think you're going to see a match, good matchup on the middles here. I know Michaela Herschel and this number four have been going back and forth for about four years yeah. since they were freshmen. And, uh, Good com com competition between the two, friendly competition. You're going to see a good matchup here. Our substitute that just went in before the serve was Rachel Reby. She went in for Jackie Judkin. Point Argonaut. And uh, the, 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 the girl on that same team oh, with a different sorry. colored jersey. Point Somerville. They can go in and out anytime they want. They're called the libero. They are a back road player only. So for the Mustangs, you'll see Rachel Reby in a green jersey. She's a back row specialist. We got a hit by Leah Peterson, and it was out. Went on the other side of the antenna. It has to stay inside the antenna for it to be in regulation play. We got Brianna Robinson serving, second serve. Serve received to Morgan Zafferano. We got a pass. And Leah saved that one with a great effort on, on the outside. Okay, that was a kill by Leah Peterson. It was well placed. Good passing by Rachel Reby. Back to serve for the Mustangs is Jamie Thornhill. Right now, Somerville's up two points to one. Good pass by the libero over there, Mark. Nice dig by Jamie. And Morgan Zafferano with a hit to the deep backside and a kill with that. Somerville can't sometimes hit that deep corner pass. This hit by Ashley Gamber, point Argonaut, 2-2 two -two tie. Mustangs still don't look like they're comfortable, Mark. They look like they're... Yeah, it takes them about half a game to get into their group. There you go. Nice block. Who blocked that? Was that Morgan? Yes. Nice block, Morgan. Good defensive read on, on the back row with Rachel Reby back there, letting it go out of bounds. Somerville hit a little too hard, out of bounds. 3-2 Argonaut. 
Ooh, strong serve by Jamie. Good pass, Morgan. And a nice set and a big hit by Leah Peterson. Big hit. Good job. And that's going to be four hits for the Somerville Bears. Sounds like Somerville needs to get their feet underneath them. Little nerves. Both teams have a lot of nerves going to this. It's good to see the Mustangs start off a little stronger than Tuesday night, though. Yes. I believe Tuesday night when they beat uh, Linden in four, you know, three games out of four, they were behind in every game. Yeah, they were. They came back, and again, that's like I was talking about earlier, it's all about their experience of playing together for all those years, being able to adjust. Jamie Thornhill with a long serve there, serve to serve. For those of you that aren't that familiar with volleyball, if you pay attention and watch the game, it's all about momentum. The teams will get runs of points, and they get the momentum going, and it's, it's a, a nice thing to watch. And nice hit by the libero there. Great hit by Morgan Zafferano, and that's all set up with a, with good passing in the back row. If you can get that pass to your libero, to your setter, who's on the front row, then you can attack. Otherwise, you're free balling. You're hitting that third ball over the net, and you're in trouble. You're on defense the whole time. Yeah, you're allowed to hit the ball three times before it goes over, and you'll see it. It was right to with the serve. A set and a hit, just like that. Pass, set, hit. So you got a deep set there. Nice pass, Serena. You see that three pass going on here? Now that tip from Somerville does not count as an actual hit. So they could have hit it three more times after that tip. Seven, might, seven, might to, go three. seven to three. Argonaut lead. Rachel Reby serving. That's a jump serve she's doing there into the net. Seven four, Argonaut. Substitute in, 16. Katie Ager serving Taylor Leslie. She's the libero. That's why she wears a different color jersey. She plays only in the back row. Another hit by Morgan Zafferano. Strong, just a little bit outside in the back there. 7-5 Somerville. Serving again, Taylor Leslie. I tell you, Argonaut looks good, though, Mark. They're attacking. They do, and everybody's hitting well. They're attacking. And that's the whole key to this game is attack. Nice, nice kill. Hit. Nice. Morgan, that was, Morgan's playing exceptionally well tonight. Strong start. Going in uh, now for Leah Peterson in the back row to serve is Caitlin Lang. And going also in is Chris Cabri. Chris is a junior for the Mustangs. Caitlin is a senior. Caitlin served 20, I think, uh, Tuesday night. 15 to 20 perfect. straight serves last night, or the other night. Yeah, it was just Linden. absolutely perfect. And she and does that a lot. I see her in the offseason. She plays for my daughter. Oh, a double, a double hit call. You don't see that too often. No. And uh, Caitlin does those long runs of serves. Hopefully we get a long one here and uh, the early night. Boy, early night would be a change. Go make sure my roof's still on. Yeah. Oh, Morgan with a nice tip. With a nice tip. Good job, Morgan. Way to play the nice net up. well. And that's a battle up at the net. You're going to see a lot of those battles tonight. They're fun to watch. They're not allowed to touch that net. But you'll see a lot of times the ball moves that net. This hit there by Somerville. Point for Argonaut. That's pretty unusual. You won't see the different colored jersey, the libero, have a hit like that. 11 to 5. Usually the libero is the strongest defensive player on the team. And they dive and flop and Get all over the court. Usually have the most finesse onto the ball. Nice hit. Somerville with a nice attack. Argonaut, Argonaut has probably the strongest libero in the league, which is Rachel Reby. Uh, yeah, last year's MVP for the Mustangs. Rachel Reby was, and, and deservingly so. She's a great passer. You watch Rachel, she's everywhere. On the floor, in the air. Chris, a nice save, Chris. Good job. That's Chris Cabri with the save there. Good there you hit. go. Strong hit. Strong hit from number 16, Katie Yeager. Right over the net, down the middle, hit the lines. We got to be ready on defense when that when that. It's important set, for the Argonaut to get the middles up there to block those, at least slow the ball down. There's the pass, set, hit. 
barely out. Point for Somerville, 11-8, Argonaut. The game's to 25. They play five games. The first four games to 25. If it goes to the fifth game, the fifth game is only to 15. Service it's the errors. Best, the best three, best three of five wins the match. Service errors will kill your team. You look at that. They had momentum. They had two big hits in a row, and then they serve it long. Argonaut gets the ball back. Great jump serve by Morgan. There you go, that Ooh. middle, number eight. Nice hit by Heather Jacobs. Almost That's for those tall like girls, the tallest girls on the team usually play in the middle like that just so they can be effective like that hit you just saw. That was a beautiful hit. I think you're going to see a lot of the battles at, up at the net tonight. And they were able to get that ball over because of three points, Somerville. Even if it comes off that net like we saw, they're still allowed to hit that back as long as it's only three hits. 12-10, Argonaut. You look at the momentum, Mark, and it could be changing a little bit already. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Just nice Jackie throw. with a nice hit. Jackie Jenkins. Reby always in the right spot. Jamie Thornhill. Don't go trying to go down the line. There's that battle with the net you saw again. Reby again. Nice save. Good job, girls. Way to put it together. There you go. That's it. That is why Junior Chris Cabry is in there. She can jump. Probably higher than anybody in league. If and you look at the form and the height she gets, it's amazing. It comes from the basketball. It's got to be those Cabry genetics. She, it seems like she floats. She does, and her form's perfect every time. The ball is always going straight down. You want to get those hands so the ball's pointing down. That was a beautiful block. Miss hit. Nice serve. Miss hit by Somerville. 14-10. Argonaut. Jackie Jenkins serving. Jackie gets nice, strong serves in her. She has a lot of long runs on serves one of her strengths. It's called a jump serve, what she did. She's trying to float it in there in the little hole that's right there. And there you go. Nice hit by number 12, Nicole Christie from Somerville. Get a sub in, Bella Bactel. And what you're seeing here is you got the two starting middles back in there, Bella Bactel and Michaela Herschel, the starting middles. They'll be going at it at the net. Strong serve, but service out by 10 feet. Again, it comes down to service errors. You can't keep momentum when that happens. Serena Brown back in for Carissa Cabry and Leah Peterson back in for Kate Lane. Adams running a 6 2. You got Brianna Robinson, Robinson back centers. in for Somerville. Serena Brown back to serve for the Mustangs. We we're up 15 to 11. Still got good momentum. Strong serve. Point error off of Libero. The barrel's struggling a little bit for some ago. Yeah, sometimes the way Serena and some of these girls serve, the way they jump serve, that ball comes over and floats almost like a knuckleball. So sometimes it's hard to figure it all out. And once she serves a couple times, they can figure it out. That was a good nice, pass right nice there. Nice pass. Ooh. Well, I'm not sure. That I don't know what that lift, was, but. Oh, into the net. Michaela Herschel into the net. I think Michaela hit the ball about three times there and the referee didn't call it. No. <laughs> she, can, she can tip it once at the yeah, net and then I, hit it again, but she, she hit it more than twice. Yeah. So. But that's okay. We'll, we'll take it. You know, that's the home court advantage, I think. Barely out. Summer will serve. 17-12. Argonaut. Here we go. Strong serve. Timeout for Somerville. I'd like to mention here the coach for Somerville, Coach Christy Dwyer has been coaching for Somerville for 23 years. She's a great coach, great program. I've seen her for many years. This is my sixth year in the Argonaut High School program. My other daughter involved too. And she's always calm, collective, and the girls seem to really respect her. And she knows when to call timeout. That's a perfect thing to call timeout. A lot of times when people call timeout, the coaches call timeout, they're calling timeout to break the momentum of the other team, not really to coach their team as much as just to break that momentum. A lot of times like a pitcher coaching baseball coach would go out and walk out to the pitcher and talk to him to break the momentum of the other team. Same concept. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jamie Thornhill's back to serve for the Mustangs again. We got our, our starting seniors out there again. And, there uh, Jamie's be been on varsity team. all four years. No, three years. Three years. Yeah. She's been coached by Adam three out of the four years. She played for Adam on the JV level as a freshman. 
and uh, they, they won league as a freshman, co-champions. Yeah, Mrs. Foster was the coach for the team before. Adam did a great job with the team. Point Somerville, 17-13, Argonaut. Service error by Jamie Thornton. At number 12, Nicole Christie serving. Nicole's having a good night out here. There you go, watch a strong hit by Morgan. There you go. Nice pass by Leah and a set by Serena Brown. And another hit by Morgan. Some of them was able to pick that up. We're going to set it up again with Serena, Morgan, this time Leah on the, on the back side. Nice pass by Rachel Reby on, on, in the back row. Morgan with a hit. There you go, Rachel Reby again. A great block by Somerville. A timely block by Somerville. Out. Somerville point, 17-14. Serena Brown uh, is a setter, so she will always typically hit the second ball. The pass will go to her, and she'll set the ball up for somebody to hit, hit it. So if you watch, it goes to Serena. Serena makes the pass. Leah, Leah falls down. <laughs> That's I think there's got to be water on the floor there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, sure. I coached Leah for many, many years in soccer. She just sometimes just don't know what to expect. She's a phenomenal athlete. There you Morgan go, Morgan again. again. Block, blocked block block by Somerville, but out of bounds. Point for Summer. A point for Argonaut. Jackie uh, Jenkins going back in for Michaela Herschel. With Rachel Reeby serving with her jump serve, her patented jump serve, I should say. She can vary the speed on this thing, so they never know what's coming. She floated that one in there. Again, I think the libero's having a, um, needs to get her feet underneath her from Somerville. Struggling, hitting that ball, passing that ball. Through. Libero's not having a good night. It's tough for the whole team to have a good night, because they're really the anchor of that back row. And uh, she's having a lot of miss hits back there, maybe she's just having an off night again off the side of the arm. Yeah, that first pass from some of those has got to be up at the net yeah. for, the, for the setter. It sets otherwise. the tone for the next two hits. Yeah. That was a hit by Jackie Jenkins in the middle for the, the Mustangs. It was outside and out of bounds. It was a great hit point. by Jackie anyway. 19-16. got serve. we got the libero coming back in. Taylor Leslie. Nice pass by Leah Peterson in the set. And Morgan Herschel with a nice hit. Again, that first, nice. The first block doesn't count as a hit. Good, good dig by Jamie. Yeah, luckily they didn't see us hit the good. 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 Nice play, girls. Good oh, tenacity yeah. play. Playing tough out there. Good play by the Mustangs. Girls are having a good night. 2016 Argonaut. Caitlin Lang back in, and, and so is Chris Cabri back in. Look at these games. Look at the crowd on our side. We always got a strong crowd for these games. Out. Oh, in. Linesman called it in. Well, good nice thing I'm on a microphone because I'm in the stands. I probably would have known I didn't. I don't agree. So. <laughs> it was a fair call there, Mr. Herschel. It was a fair call. Caitlin okay, Lang with the set, and Morgan. Oh. Called Tip. with a double hit. Nope. Yeah. Called double, with a double, oh, double. hit. Okay. Caitlin Lang, the sitter, can only. I was saying earlier, you once. look at the crowd we have out there. We always have a great crowd, a great supportive crowd out there. We actually have one of the alumni. He is here to watch the game. She was one of our strong middles last year. Nice block by Somerville there. Number six, Brianna Robinson. She's doing a good job up at the net. So it looks like she's about 5'10, 5 5'11. 5 2019, Mark, this game is getting closer. And it's all about momentum. Pass by Jamie, set up by Caitlin, and a hit. Oh, and a smart that Morgan. one in. Mor Morgan's off Toronto. Morgan placed that ball perfectly. She found a hole and coming didn't in number kill it, three for it. Somerville, Caitlin Stewart. So we got 21-19. The Mustangs up. Again, the game's at 25. Need to win by two. There we go, every point of this counts here. 22-19, Argonaut. Morgan Z with her jump serve. Nice. 
nice, nice serve. Absolutely nice serve, Morgan. Good defensive play by Morgan. And here comes the hit by Somerville and a tip. Okay, are we going to be able to set this up? Oh, on the Ooh. net. Got to be ready for that. Somebody's got to be picking that up. Great block there by number 16, Caitlin Hager. That was textbook right there. We just need to have somebody there to cover it. Nice serve by Somerville. Morgan with a set and Jamie with Jamie a Jamie with that power hit. I had to say Jamie so her dad didn't gloat. <laughs> her dad won't gloat. He's proud of her, but he won't gloat. But Jamie gets up there and gets that strong hit in there. There's nobody in this league who's going to stop that ball. Nice serve. Again, nice service by Jackie Junkins for the Mustangs. The barrel's having a tough time getting that Summer first pass off. Three balling it over, and that was a kill yeah, by yeah. Michaela Herschel. I know that girl. Battle of the middles, and that time she won. It was a well-placed kill by Michaela. And what's interesting you watch these middles is they've played against each other since they were freshmen, and they were probably about 5'2 then, and now you got six <laughs> ones and six footers. Kayla's measuring in about six one. Most things are game girls point on the other side are about six feet. Most things are game point with 24-20. And a, a block at the net by Michaela. And good hit by Somerville. 21-24. Argon out ahead. They go with their three back. Serving defense. 16, K Ager. Nice serve. Chris Akabe with it over. Just a little bit outside. Mustangs up 24 22. Critical point coming up, folks, because you do have to win by two. Rachel Reby with a nice set. There we go, Jamie. There we go, he's setting up again. And Michaela at the net. Here we go, we're going with a pass and a set. And a kill, hopefully. Oh. Good hustle by both teams. Good hustle, great plays. Good rally going on there. Good blocking. Folks, tonight's game we talked about earlier was going to be a dog match, and that's what you have. You got 24-23 in the first game of five. Caitlin with a, a nice hit behind Sometimes her head. Sometimes you hit over on that second one, you can catch them flat food because they're waiting for those three passes. Caitlin does Send roll it up on again it. with Michaela Herschel. Michaela Herschel. Hey. Nope. No, no, no. This side. Oh, wow. Um, that looked to me like it was on that this was side of the end. Good effort on some of those parts. Okay, Rachel Reby with a back, third hit over. There we are. And it was out. Argonaut wins that first game, 